I'm Theo Schoeniker and I started attending the Culver grade school here in 1932 when I was seven years old. The world's changed much since uh, I started here. The last 79 years I've been deeply involved with the Culver School District. And we have to make changes. We have to keep up if we're going to provide for our children and our community. This school epitomizes the very hub of the community. It's necessary that we keep up. I'm J.D. Alley. I'm a Culver resident, I'm a Culver alumni, and I've been here my whole life. I graduated from this school in 1985. I wear many hats in this school. I've uh, been the wrestling coach here the last 22 seasons. I'm a past board member, and this school is very important to me where it's headed and, and the future of Culver. There's four pieces to our bond. Uh, first piece is, a, is an extensive remodel to the high school. Second piece involves uh, modernization and remodel to the gym complex and replacing eight elementary classrooms in the old wings. The third piece is the building at the athletic complex and the fourth piece is the refinancing of the property on Iris and Elby. One thing unique about this bond, it, it, it services many aspects of the school district. By that I mean it, it will affect any student in the K through 12 population. It brings forth a projected cost of $3.46 per thousand of assessed value. It comes out to $21.34 a month. Pretty affordable to bring forth a $14.5 million improvement to your local school district. Hi, I'm Mike Knepp and I've been in the Culver community since 2004. I have two students in the Culver schools. Some things that worry community members when uh, a bond comes forward is basically what, what's it going to cost our family? And when I saw that, I, I had some of those same worries that, boy, I bought a house for a certain amount of dollars. Is this what I'm gonna be taxed off of? And through um, communication with the people that are, that are working on this bond, the explanation is the assessed value. And so you can look on your county taxes and it'll have an assessed value. And I was pleasantly surprised that that assessed value didn't really mean that much from a monthly cost point of view. I see the benefits outweigh any, anything else in, in that factor. It's not that much money per month. Really, it's costing our family with this bond under $30 a month. So I would encourage everyone to go and look at that assessed value on your homes. You should see that this is a very conservative bond. This process has been a lengthy process that started with a task force meeting in, in January to identify some needs for our school district. We contracted a company to do a phone survey for us to find out what our patrons uh, really felt. Um, a couple of things that came out of that phone survey, two out of every three patrons supported the modernization and remodel of our high school. And a lot of positive support was also shown for replacement of the two elementary wings. In addition, 65% of those surveyed supported including the property at Iris and Elby in the current bond proposal. The highest support in the entire survey was for upgrading our heating system to a modern heating, ventilating, and cooling system, or HVAC. I'm Chelsea Metzentine. I'm a senior this year at Culver High School. I started here in 2000 in first grade. The Culver schools are outdated and learning in an uncomfortable environment is difficult. We freeze in the winter and bake in the summer. In 1996, we passed a bond that built an elementary and a middle school for us. That brings us to this date. The 1996 bond was just retired a year or so ago. This building we're sitting in is approaching 50 years old and it needs a few technological updates and things to bring it into the 21st century. When our task force was deciding whether to remodel or replace the elementary wings, uh, we consulted a structural engineer, and it was determined that those wings, due to their cracks and some structural integrity issues, would not sustain much of a seismic event. And that was enough for us to, to move forward with a re complete replacement of those buildings. I'm Stephanie Garber, and I am the elementary principal and also the district superintendent. This measure isn't building any fluff it's really all determined about basic needs, and I feel it's so important for a community to provide adequate facilities for our students, and um, right now we don't have that. There have been some national studies about the six aspects that affect student achievement, and one has to do with indoor air quality, which is the heating, ventilation, and cooling. Another one is lighting, and then another one is acoustics. Number four is building age and quality. Fifth would be class size. 
and the sixth is school size. So we have some of those aspects in great condition, class size and school size. However, the other four are lacking in our district. Safety is a big, is a major factor in some of our discussions and where we wanted to go with this bond levy. Uh, part of the remodel process in the high school involved a different flow of students and visitors into the school that had to go through the office uh, so our office personnel could see them. Also with the update of the new HVAC systems, we have better climate control and we have a lot less uh, doors open for ventilation. We have a lot of external doors open that don't really need to be and that doesn't create a very safe environment for our kids to be in throughout the course of the day. When our gym was renovated in the early 1980s, uh, we had a student population using that gym facility of about 150. Today it's nearly double that. We have quite a bit more opportunities afforded to our sports teams and we're just in need of some much needed space. By creating the, the complex at the athletic facility, we'll be able to free up some space, expand our locker rooms, and create some much needed team rooms for us and the teams that we're hosting for our guests. The fourth and final aspect to our bond campaign uh, involves refinancing some property that w the school district agreed to buy a few years back. And currently our, our FFA and Ag programs are utilizing it and our district office is in part of it. It equates to about 45 cents of the $3.46 or less than one seventh of the bond. Hi, my name is Dale Crawford. I'm the Ag teacher here at Culver High School. Um, the Ag program recently received permission uh, from the school board to farm this piece of property with the agriculture classes. We are looking forward to this great opportunity to implement marketing skills, soil analysis, and fertilizing and selecting crops. So I think it's just a golden opportunity for the uh, community of Culver to have this property uh, congruent to our current system and have it in functional use by agriculture students until such time as needed for a school. We're very excited about our FFA and Ag programs being able to utilize the property on Iris and Elby until we need it. They've been without a chapter farm for many years and now is a perfect opportunity for them to get back in the classroom, get some dirt under their fingernails, and remember what Culver's roots are about. It's always the right time to invest in your kids and your future. Um, some of our viewers think this is, this is a tough time economically. It is a great time to build. It's a great time to be positive about the future of our economic climate. If, if you believe our economy is gonna turn around, now's the time to build and pay for it in the next 20 years when we're starting to see a thriving economy. The time has come for, in my view, certainly the time has come for change, and I have every faith that we'll take care of that. This school here is the, almost the, the cornerstone of this community. I'm glad I'm 18 and I have the chance to vote yes for the school bond. I'm encouraging everybody to vote yes for the school bond issue. It's a great opportunity for Culver. Please take care of our kids for tomorrow and on into the future. We need to provide a quality education today and with inadequate facilities that becomes very difficult. So please vote yes. It's not only yes for our schools, but it is a yes for a strong, safe community. I would encourage everybody to turn out register and vote for this bond. Give our students a chance to grow. Vote for our education.